Okay, so, just to prove a point. This is a first generation Intel Core i7-980X. If you know anything about X58, you know what that means. See those six RAM slots? Yeah, there's only one platform that has six RAM slots. Okay, maybe they have a Xeon version of it, but it's the same technology. There's only one platform that has that, so you know this is real. So, this is my custom X58 build. This is the proof that I'm running Windows 11. <clears throat> so, I know those of us who have been talking about this know that you can run this on whatever, but I don't think anyone has actually tried going back this far. So we've got, okay, so technically I put that there. I named it X58. We're running a 980X, 24 gigs, it's DDR3. It's good DDR3, as you might have been able to tell. And we're running Windows 11 Pro. It is an older revision because I used an older thumb drive because I didn't feel like making a new one, but I'll make a new, I'll finish updating it later. But <clears throat> this is the initial. And then, and then, I was not satisfied with loading Windows 11 alone. So then I did another thing. <laughs> We've got an RTX 3080 running in a first generation Core i7. I didn't actually think that this would work. So let's pull this up. Oh, where is it? Uh, let's see. I need to go to the NVIDIA thingy. Okay, come on. It's probably going to blue screen while I'm trying to mock them. Let's see here. Dang it. No, I don't want that. Whatever the heck that is. Okay. Um, uh, we need the NVIDIA thing. I need the NVIDIA control panel. There. Okay. This might take a sec to load because it's often slow and this is a slow computer. So, oh, it loaded faster than I expected. RTX 3080. System information. Let's see. I thought it told... Okay, I guess it doesn't say what the chip is on this, but so we have RTX. I mean, you've seen me pull this all up, okay? RTX 3080. I, I didn't think this was going to work. I thought that the older PCI Express revision on the motherboard would just be too old for it and that there would be an issue, but because I've seen issues before, but I got lucky and it worked. <laughs> so we have... <clears throat> Probably the only X58 currently running a 3080, maybe on the planet. This might be, okay, I mean, come on, there's enough combinations. Maybe I'm wrong, but this could be the only X58 running Windows 11 and an RTX 3080. And you know what we're going to do later? I'm not going to do it tonight, but we are going to throw Cyberpunk on this sucker because... <clears throat> Cyberpunk needs a video card and a processor, okay? So we're going to throw Cyberpunk on this sucker and see what it does. We're going to game on this thing, and we're going to see just how much you actually really need all that new hardware, or if you can literally just take some rando platform like this, drop a 3080 on it, and game like no tomorrow. So we're going to find out. I'm going to make a wild guess. <clears throat> that we're gonna be able to hit 1440p, maybe high settings at, I don't know, 50 FPS. It's gonna be a question, it's gonna be able to run, it's gonna be able to hit 4K 
at like medium high settings. The question is how stable is it gonna be as far as the frame rate? Because with the older i7, it's probably gonna have trouble holding a high frame rate without like dips in the in the frame rate. But I could be wrong about that. But this, I just, I couldn't resist. I, I was like, I, I, I honestly did not think that this was all gonna work. I really did think that we were gonna have a problem somewhere, okay? I thought we were gonna have a problem and that it was not all going to work. And come on, we all know when they when people talk about how <clears throat> how oh you know Microsoft doesn't want to have to go back and you know write the software code to support all this old stuff. Look, you would have to show me an interview with a Microsoft engineer saying that they actually went back and actually actively did things to make Windows 11 work with X58 for me to believe that they did that. Come on. The level of stupid that I would have to be to believe that that the only reason it worked is because oh they did reverse reverse, you know, support no way. There is no way that somebody was sitting at the Microsoft office writing code for Windows 11 on a window on an X58 workstation. Like I said, if you can put an engineer in front of me and and we can ask those questions, which I'm just some dumb little YouTuber with a 2,000 sub channel. Nobody gives a crap about me, so it's not going to happen. You show me that interview and I'll believe it. Otherwise, what I'm seeing here is Windows 11 runs perfectly fine on non-supported software, even if it's really, really old stuff that they did zero. To, to, to work with. So anyway, uh, this is the first of this. There's going to be more coming. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I this is what people watch stupid little channels like mine for is stupid little crap like this, right? So I hope you guys find this interesting and uh, thanks for watching the video.